Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is the Crystal Manta and welcome to another platformer potpourri. Uh, Alba uh, Wildlife Adventure is still, uh, is still a thing. Uh, but I figured I would just, uh, I don't know, I want to try something else. I don't know, I just kind of want to give something else a shot. And I had this game in my Steam library and I've been meaning to play it. And so, uh, here we are. Playing the botanist. I don't know much about it other than there's plants involved. Uh, human mode. I am a who man. Looks like there's eight levels. Alright. Hopefully they're not too long. Ghost Entertainment. I didn't know ghosts could develop video games. Impressive. Alright. I don't like his nose, at least in this art style. Alright, we're going down to Sleepy Town. Alright. Hanging out in the woods. Oh, oh, he looks spooky. Oh, he's even... Oh no, he's gonna steal my plants. Oh, you jerk. What's going on? Where? It's like a chipmunk Waluigi. Where? Dun 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 dun. I like this music. All right. Oh. Uh, the Jolly Green Giantess is watching us. Okay. Oh, oh, spooky mushroom house. Oh, he took our plants in there. We gotta go. Go. Oh, uh, we have to go in the secret trapdoor room. It's gonna take us to a magical flower world, isn't it? Oh no. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I died. Yeah, he's falling to his death. Oh, yep. Bam. Uh-oh. Alright. Oh, what is this behind the camera? Oh, what is this camera? Alright, so mud slows me down. I can double jump. I assume I'm supposed to collect the mushrooms. Looks like there's 60 left to collect. I don't know if that's in the level or total. I'm not seeing... That. Oh, there's a bug. Oh, you're an enemy. Can I jump on you? Okay, so just don't touch you. That's what I'm learning. Oh, I can't go there? Okay. Are you a thing? Can I jump on you? Oh, you explode. Okay, good to know. There's... I got four mushrooms right now, I think. I assume, I assume you're an enemy as well. It doesn't look like enemies move? Or do anything? And I move super slowly. Oh god. Oh, it resets the whole, like, cutscene. Oh, I don't like this. My opinions of this are already not that top-notch. I can't- I don't- is there an attack button? Okay, so I get a dragon at some point. I can't do any- I can't attack right now. Yeah, if this is gonna be the whole game, I'm not a fan of this already. 
I move so slowly and I can't move the camera. I don't know if that explosion damages me or if it's just for... Yeah, I already don't know if I'm going to be completing this game 100%. It's got to improve before I think of doing that. I might just play a couple levels, I'm not quite sure. What is this spooky noise I keep hearing? Sounds like it's right here, it's like a magic-y noise. kind of feel like I should just avoid enemies. It looks like fire is about to appear. Oh yeah, I can fly too. Huh, interesting. This guy could do everything except look up or down or turn the camera. Oh, I missed a mushroom. How do I get health? Are there gonna be like this many mushrooms in every level? Oh. I need this heart, please. Yeah, don't give it to me, I guess. Whatever. Yeah, this game is definitely not the most polished. I can't go there. Why not? Go oh, I probably need all the mushrooms. Oh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be completing this game 100%. I feel kind of obligated to because I started it and I would be a bad gamer if I didn't. I wouldn't be a real gamer if I left the game unfinished. But it's also just not good so f Oh, am I supposed to make that jump? Am I supposed to be able to make that? Okay, I can make it. I still hate this camera angle and the shadows don't really help. Yeah, these controls are weird. Oh. Ah! That was a great... Did it start me at the beginning? Oh, it did. It... There's no checkpoints, are there? Oh, no. There's no checkpoints. What kind of game design is this? I mean, the visuals are nice enough. They're kind of PS1, PS2-ish. Which is an aesthetic I generally can get behind. I like the PS2 kind of aesthetic. But you gotta have some good game design behind it, you know? And so far, this game doesn't have it. It's hard to tell where you're jumping. Which is a big issue in, you know, a platformer. And it's got, like, tank controls, which uh, I guess I can look overlook. It works in this context because of the wonky platforming. See, I didn't know if I would make that ledge. Because the the depth perception is just kind of the worst thing of all time. This log is giving off a thing. Oh, is the log like a checkpoint? That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. 
I assume I'm going this way. It's just kind of a bunch of platforms, just kind of laid out willy-nilly. Oh, I don't know how I made that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, it's... Okay. We're good. We are not good. You're just starting me with one hit point. Oh, this is wonky. This is all of the wonk. Do I at least keep my mushrooms? Okay, I seem to keep all the mushrooms. Oh no! I wish it would just reload me instead of like making me go back to the level select. That's a. Uh, inconvenient is a good word for it. Can I just jump right from. I sure as hell can. Oh. Uh... I don't know if I can do eight levels of this, you guys. This is a... a bit much. I like the, uh, the visuals in, like, it's a bunch of islands and some of them are, like, tilted over like that. There is a dragon. Is that a dragon I'm supposed to get? I don't think I was supposed to make that jump directly. Wah, 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 wah. Alright. Oh, wait. No, I lost those. I have to get those mushrooms again. I forgot because they were before the checkpoint. So I have to get... Okay. I understand now. I didn't save these two mushrooms because I got them before the checkpoint. Only 32 left. We'll see if this gets any better. I doubt it, though. Am I supposed to jump directly? Oh, yeah, I am. Okay. That bee moves really quickly in its cycle. I don't know how I did that. Sheer luck. Not having a good time so far. You know what? I'm not going to get all the mushrooms. I'm just going to go through the level. I want to at least beat the first level. <laughs> That's my goal for the video. I don't know how I made it. The fact that you can activate a double jump at any time is pretty nice. I'm just going to get whatever mushrooms are just kind of in my way. If they require a bunch of weird platforming, I'm just going to ignore them. No, boy. Like these mushrooms I'll get because they're just kind of right here. But if they make me do, like, a bunch of weird wonky parkour, I'm just gonna kinda 
forego them. It doesn't look like this guy follows me. The green mushroom did earlier. That might be a green mushroom thing. You know, hashtag green mushroom things. Okay, this grass is in my way. Nope. Go away. I don't know where I'm going. That looks like further into level. This looks like a side path. You know what? I'll go on the side path. See, I barely made that. I I would like this heart though. This vine kind of looks like it goes somewhere, but I don't think it does. It's kind of confusing level design. Doing all right. No! Oh no! All right. No exploring. Just get to the checkpoint. I don't trust this game. No boy. How long have I been recording this? <laughs> How long have I been <laughs> 17 minutes. I'm gonna beat this last level. Or this first level. That's at least gonna be a thing in this video. Chlorophyll? Talk about Chlora filled with bad game decisions. I don't know how I made that, but I'll take it. Alright, no more side pads. Just pure going straight from beginning to end. This game doesn't deserve to have side paths so far. Alright, we're just going straight over there. Granted, what killed me well, that time, this time, was not the side path. I don't know, do I go when it's down? Yeah, I do. That looks like a checkpoint. Give it. What? Surprised they didn't show me the cutscene again. These are just weird enemy like movements. Nope! I don't think so, sunny boy. Don't- these bees are just the worst enemy ever. Oh no. Now I can't jump. Is that what I'm supposed to do, is put it there? Whoop. No. Uh, 
I'm gonna get to the end of this level and that's just gonna be the video <laughs> at this point. I'm not playing this entire game. I hate these bees so much. And I hate this camera angle and this lack of depth perception. It's just kind of the worst thing ever. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this box. I can't jump with it. I think I'm supposed to drop it here. Because it does a little glowy bit. I don't think the fire and the platforms are timed to each other. Okay, I kind of just barely made that question mark. I just want to get to the end of the level. That's it. Nope. See ya, mushroom man. Take this chest, though. I don't know what that was, the little star. Alright, I guess I don't get anything. Alright, those are both, clearly both. Those are clearly both, uh, end pads. Was this really just here for a mushroom? Do I even want to risk going that path? Well, I did just get the checkpoint. We'll do it. I don't like this bee. I don't like the way he's moving. Yeah, I'm not getting all the mushrooms, but frankly, I'm kind of done. <laughs> I really am with this game. I've only been playing it 20 minutes. I had high hopes for it. I guess I shouldn't trash on it. I know the people who made it definitely worked hard on it. But it's... It, 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 there's promise. I'll say that. But there's definitely a lot of issues. Oh gosh. Okay, it's that way. What's over here? Just mushrooms, I guess. I'll get as many as I can. Ha! 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 Oh gosh, that was close. I would have been real upset if I had missed that. What is that? Is that like a super mushroom? Is that the end of the level? Level one completed. Oh no! That was a necessary cutscene. Let's try level two, I suppose. I to kind of get a better idea how this game works now. Works is, of course, a uh, works is a uh, a relative statement, depending on how you define works. I don't know 
whose fault that was. I think as long as you're at the first checkpoint, it does the thing. Is that the first level below me? I think it is. If so, that's really cool, actually. I'll give him points for that. Yeah, you can see the previous level. At least they don't go, like, full Toe-Jam and Earl, where if you fall, you just, like, go back to the last level. That would definitely irritate me. Yeah, I'm not going for those. Not doing it. Not even gonna try. I'm just going straight for the end of the level. No, no side pads. My inner collector is yelling at me. But my... What's left of my sanity is yelling at it. Alright, this is a fine side path. This is a checkpoint, actually. So yes, I want this. I don't know why the checkpoint is on, like, a side path. The jumping sounds are getting kind of repetitive. I gotta be honest. Huh. Ha! Just like one other set of jumping sounds, or one or two other sets would have been cool. No! Oh my god. That was... Was not a fan of that. Can tell you that right now, boy. I'm not looking forward to seeing how a boss fight is gonna go in this game with no combat and wonky controls. That's gonna be real. Okay, jump this time. Okay. I wonder if the reason you can't look up in this game is because they don't want you to see, like, the next level above you. I mean, that's a weird thing to sacrifice camera controls for. It's cool, like, atmospherically, but controller-wise, it's, uh... If I'm gonna finish this game, I'm gonna get past the second level. And then I guess we'll figure it out from there. Maybe if you guys, for some reason, want to see more, I'll do more. But right now, it's looking at a one-parter game. I'll... Uh... No! I hate this. I hate this so much. I'm sorry, this is a bad game. I'm sorry, I want to be nice to the devs. I'm sure perfectly nice, cool dudes and dudettes. But this is, a. Uh... This is, this is wonky. That's, that's the best word I can say is that it's wonky. It just... it doesn't flow well. I think I'm just supposed to ride it more. Because this is taking me here. Doesn't help that the jumps are like really floaty. You guys having a dance party up here without me? You look like you uh don't feel so good. Here's a dragon, can I have him? The 
controls that I looked at earlier said flying was a thing. Oh, this was a side path, wasn't it? You made me go on a side path game. I'm not a fan. The other path is over there, isn't it? There's like three paths. Which one? Okay, that one's the real one. Yeah, we'll try out what's over here. Oh god! That was that was nearly very bad. The music's getting kind of repetitive. Oh, the checkpoint is over right here at the end of this long side path. Nope. Bad design. It should be on the main path. Shouldn't have to go out of my way to get a checkpoint. Because I, I know I said no side paths, but what if I actually did just decide really no side paths? I wouldn't have that checkpoint. It would be un... I wouldn't even know it was here. <sighs> no! It didn't give me the checkpoint. I gotta start back here. I really hope you guys say you don't want to see more, because frankly, I don't want to play more. It's it's such a, a nice-looking cartoony game, but the gameplay is just so... I'm not even going to jump on it right now. I'm going to wait, because I know what's going to happen. I'm not a huge fan of this character design. The Steam description says he's supposed to be like a mushroom person, but he just kind of looks like he's wearing a Rastafarian hat, but he's like a white guy. So it looks kind of weird. I don't want to call racism shenanigans, but it looks weird. Or maybe this is a real hat from a different culture and I'm showing my ignorance. I'm sure that's possible. Well, now I have to go actually get the checkpoint. Because I'm going to need it. Definitely. Okay. It made the sound. I have to stand on it. Not a fan of that. You should just get it when you're near it. It's sort of like how when you open the chests and the mushroom is there, but you have to stand on the chest before it gives you the dang thing. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, that was horrible. That was... That was not good. Oh, this depth perception is so weird. Especially on, like, these... Platforms that are kind of like con uh, convex, like these main ones. So when you have to like look down the hill like this, it's hard to see where the edge is. That looks far, but knowing this game, it's probably where the checkpoint is. All right, so this this is the end. Okay. How long have I been recording this? 30 minutes. Uh, we'll do one more level. Oh, is this a B level? Oh, it's nighttime. That's at least kind of a change of scenery. You can't grab this mushroom. I don't know what happens when you get all- I assume it's just 100%. I don't know if you get anything. Oh, there's obstacles I gotta jump over in the air. Oh, I'm not a fan of that. No siree. 
and I'm getting caught on this thing. This is definitely the best level so far, just visually. These mice are moving incredibly quickly! Uh, it's a side path, but it's got the checkpoint, and I want that. Oh, please don't fall. Okay, we got the sound this time. Checkpoint is mine. Oh, that doesn't look fun, that fire up ahead. Oh! What?! Ugh. So you just can't jump there. You have to just kind of maneuver around them. Yeah, because jumping is pretty much the only thing that saves you in this game. Yeah, let's just take it away from you. And then put a bunch of random mice that are just going all over the place at lightning speed that you can barely avoid. I just reflexively hit jump. That was my fault. At least it's not like a, oh, you lose all your lives and gotta start the level from the beginning. Uh, I would rage quit right there. All these levels look so huge. I want a heart. Oh, there's a heart right there. And of course the mice insta-kill you. Because you don't get your hearts back when you die. It's like, but you also lose a heart if you just take damage, so it's like your lives, your extra lives and your health are the same thing. Which is weird and I don't like it. Yeah, I'm skipping that. Can I get out of sequence? I'm gonna stand in the middle. Yeah! Okay. Where do I go next? Oh, this was a side... <laughs> oh boy. They're really going all out on these traps. Because the game isn't janky enough. Okay, there's the checkpoint. I see the next one over there in the distance. I'm just gonna go, I'm not going that side path. Do I care enough about that extra life? No, I don't. Okay, you can stand on those flowers. Good. Okay, how am I supposed to get up to the checkpoint, though? See how we have to go on the side path. And once again, I think, yeah, you can see the previous level below us. It's still cool, but I'd rather have camera control. 
Bees. Oh, there's another heart. That's convenient. Okay, the checkpoint's right there. And the way to go was this way, I believe. Sorry if my commentary's not too great. I say that every video, don't I? Am I just not- I'm just not a good commentator. There's just not a whole lot to talk about other than when you, like, die to janky physics or whatever. It's just kind of a, that type of game so far. Well, there's not nothing to talk about. Oh, God! Yeah, give me those tiny platforms that I don't know how you expect me to reliably land on. Yeah, and these just armies of mice in seemingly random locations. Oh god, I almost sneezed. Okay. Oh no, I gotta ride a platform over here. Oh no! Oh no! And it's got a little... I did not care for that. I did not care for that one bit. <laughs> this game is lackluster if you cannot tell. And of course I miss it. This is the last level I meet at this time. I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> eh, you get caught on so many things. There needs to be a better shadow to show me where I'm gonna land. Like what Crash 4 did. That game has its fault. its faults, but it gives you a nice visible yellow circle where you're going to land. And that is a great idea. So then I have some idea of where I'm gonna land. Why can't I make this again? Was it just a fluke that I landed on it the first time? Is that heart there? It is, I would like it please. Although I don't see what the point of the hearts is as for lives. Okay. Here's the platform. No, I was at the end. I saw the ending mushroom plant thing. Mm, this game is bad. If you're gonna have platforming this, like, precise, then you need to have good controls. You need to have masterful controls. Is there, like, some checkpoint that I'm missing? 
And there goes the platform. I gotta wait for it. How long have I been recording this? 45 minutes. Yeah, after this level, I'm, I'm cutting it. Cutting it a video. You'd think for a game with only eight levels, it would be shorter than this. If the levels were competently made. I, I, I feel mean saying that because, I again, I know the devs worked hard on it probably and it's someone's passion project, their little baby. Mm -hmm. There needs to be another checkpoint closer to that. That's how I would fix this level, like right before the big moving platform section. Add another checkpoint around where those mice are, kind of moving in a square formation. That's how I fix this level. I mean, also I would overhaul the entire control scheme and everything else. But, you know... And the heart's not there to replenish. Is there some, like, checkpoint up here or something? No. And there's not another side path I can go find one in. Uh, and you just kind of have to wait. You can see the ending mushroom over there. That's the end of the level. Uh, you, you, just, you just have to wait. You can't do anything. This game has a lot of waiting for moving platforms. If this game had a better way to tell where you're going to land, it would be way better. Okay. We actually made it on the platform this time. I somehow kept my heart there. Okay, we made it. And then I immediately die. Uh, end of the level. Okay. Well, this has been the Crystal Manta. Uh, I think we're going to cut the, the, the game short here. Uh, if you want to see me play more of it, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and say in the comments. But I think for right now, I can't take any more of this. But yeah, I think we're pretty much done with this game for now. Uh, thank you for watching. My name is the Crystal Manta, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey everybody, Crystal Manta here. Thank you so much for watching the video. You guys are truly the best audiences uh, a YouTuber could have. If you want to see more content like it, be sure to like and subscribe, and hit the little bell for notifications on when all my future videos come out. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time.